What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, do me a real quick favor. See that red subscribe button down below? Go ahead and push that and show you support for the channel. For those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So, for now, until it warms up, this is going to be the last review in the O Sauvage line. What are we talking about today? From Dior, Eau Sauvage, Extreme, the Eau de Toilette Intense. Stay tuned. So Eau Sauvage Extreme. First off, let's get in this presentation because this bottle is gorgeous. That black with the silver and the black and silver label, this is next level pretty right here. It's gorgeous. It's just flat out gorgeous. And you know, the standard magnetic cap, fantastic atomizer. As always, I love the way these bottles look. This one, uh, I debated on giving it a little bit better rating than the other ones because it's so pretty. It just looks so cool, that black bottle. It's the nicest looking one, but tried and true. Presentation on these Eau Sauvage bottles is most certainly a nine out of 10. Now let's get into this scent. So originally I'm seeing conflicting release dates. So on base notes, it says 1982. On Fragrantica, it says 1984. So I'm a question mark. It released 1982 or 1984, then re-released in 2010, which is the formula I have here. Uh, it's classified as a citrus aromatic. I'll put the notes right there for you. So differences in the extreme <coughs> versus the original. So you'll notice with this one, it's a lot more green. This is a green fragrance. It's a lot more herbal. It's a lot more fresh spicy. In the opening, you're gonna get a blast of citrus. You definitely get the lemon and the bergamot, but you get a heavier dose of rosemary and basil than you do of the citruses. And I love rosemary. It works out great. And the basil really kind of warms it up a little bit. It's warmer than I expected it to be. It's very fresh spicy, but I feel there's a little bit of warmth in it from the herbal spiciness on the green side as well. Bay leaves kind of heightened up. Um, and you do get a lot of lavender. It's very, very aromatic in the opening. Um, the lavender doesn't really have much of a soapy quality. This is much more green herbal spicy than it is citrus aromatic. I kind of find the classification to be off a little bit in my opinion. And then once you get into the transition, <clears throat> you're getting a whole lot more of these herbs. The bay leaf is really starting to come in a whole lot more at this point. And then the oak moss heightens drastically. You're still getting plenty of rosemary, but the oak moss really comes in. Now, that herbal opening that you got just got heightened by adding so much oak moss to it. So it's basically at this point, the lemon's still kind of sort of there. You don't really get the bergamot, but the bay leaf, the basil, the rosemary, and the oak moss have taken over this fragrance. It's an herbal green fragrance completely in the transition. And that holds for a little while. Once you get into this dry down, you get a very light patchouli and amber. It changes a little bit. The herbs and the spiciness kind of tones down. The moss is still there. It's a very, you know, oak mossy type of scent. Um, they weren't shy with oak moss in this because this is a fougere at the end of the day. And then the cedar steps in just a little bit and you still get that herbal quality, but like I said, it, it tones down quite a bit. Um, it's more herbal fresh than herbal spicy in the deep dry down. The scent on it's beautiful. Um, you do smell a bit of a difference between the two. This is much more citrusy fresh. This is much more spicy herbal green. Yes, this does smell like it's derived from this. You can smell them, you know, you can smell that these are the same fragrance, but minor differences. Um, is it double the price worthy? Mm, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But for the scent on this one, I'm absolutely going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's beautiful. I give it an 8 out of 10 just like I did with the original. It's got its merit. It's different enough. You know, it's not the exact same fragrance. Now, longevity, I was kind of disappointed to be completely honest with you. This was the first time I wore it and I actually had to refresh today. 
I got seven hours with it, which is not the end of the world, but I was really hoping to surpass the eight hour mark. Because if I remember correctly, I only got it, excuse me, I only got around that five and a half hour, five, five and a half hour mark with the eau de toilette, the standard eau de toilette. And I was really thinking with this one, really heightened up, intensified a little bit higher oil concentration, keeping it in eau de toilette, I was gonna get, you know, eight, nine hours with it. So I got about seven. Not the end of the world, but you know, lower than I was expecting. So for that, the projection, I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10 uh, in the longevity. Projection, again, nothing really special. Uh, it's relatively heavy in that first 30 minutes. The next 30 minutes, it starts to get a little bit close to the skin. You're about arm's length in that first 30 minutes. The next 30 minutes, you kinda got a little scent bubble going uh, within range. A little small, you know, foot and a half radius all the way around you. And then, once that hour passes, it gets pretty close to the skin. This is another part where it kind of disappointed me. Um, I expected the projection to be a little bit heavier than, once again, the citrus heavy eau de toilette, the, the original version. Um, you don't get a real strong scent trail with it. It sits pretty close to the skin, very mild scent trail. People got to really get in your personal space to smell you. Uh, so for that, I'm going to give it a six out of 10. Overall, Eau Sauvage Extreme is absolutely an 8 out of 10 fragrance. This is a very good scent. Very, very good. The performance surprised me. It wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Uh, it's solid. It's a solid performer. But it's not anything that's, oh my God, this is bang for your buck. Because it's not. It's not cheap. Uh, right now, what you can get them for out on the open market, the discount sites, uh, like Fragrance Net, for example, after 37% off, Tester's 107. The full presentation's like 112, 115-ish. Maybe 120, I forgot, it's right around that range. So it's not cheap. Whereas you can get this one in a Tester for around 66. So it's almost double the price. Now, is it worth going with this one over this one? I would say no. If you have to pick one, pass on this one. If you have the means to spare, you're looking to collect the whole line, you like the herbal green aspects of it more than being citrus heavy, then yeah, by all means. But this is going to be almost double the price. This is more collectible at this point because it's not as heavy of a production as the original is. I would say save your money and just keep it with you and refresh because the differences aren't drastic enough to verify, to, to you know, really give it any validity on owning this one over this one. If you had to pick one, I would say go with the original Eau de Toilette. But with saying that, if you have the money to spend and you like it a little more herbal green or you're looking to complete the line, this is a great fragrance. It is. It's a very, very solid fragrance. And it's not redundant to have both of them. But until next time, guys, I will... Do me a quick favor and go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. How many of you have tried this? How many of you have tried the old formula? Because from what I understand, the old formula was the performer. This, however, it's not horrible. It's not super weak, but it's not what I was expecting. Um, it was lacking. I was expecting this one to jump into that eight and a half overall territory if the performance would have a little bit, been a little bit better, maybe even a nine overall, over, nine out of 10, because the scent's great. The scent quality on this one's phenomenal. And once again, that bottle is just stunning. It's a stunner. And I will say, if you get your hands on either one of these, you give them a spray now, real good chance you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.